I've said a bunch of times, I think that we're in the middle of a, uh, a cultural revolution in the United States, similar to the one that happened in China. So it, A communist it, revolution? A, a cultural revolution. Yeah, I know, but... Communist, yeah. Communists I mean, are involved, that's for sure. Yeah, the thing is that it's not communists like, you know, back in the day, like the philosophies have evolved. So this is a... a, a you can want to call it neo-communist or something like that, neo-Marxist. Yeah. That's fine because it's a new version. It's based, you know, there's, a, there's, there, it's like there's multiple different kind of, it's almost like it's a religion, one overarching religion and there's different sects of it. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm not, like I, I know I've seen on Twitter, there are people that are upset that you said that and stuff, but it's like, like I, I've, I've kind of felt like we're in the, in the middle of a, a, not a an actual civil war, obviously, because there's not, you know, um, considerable violence in the street between warring factions. But we are in an information but war. Isn't there? No, there's not. Like, not there's, there's like not. This there's not okay there, because there, because I'm, I'm talking about like actual gunfights regularly oh yeah so that's, yeah that's what i'm talking yeah, about yeah, yeah. and that's and that's what they're that's what they're the people that are upset they're upset because civil war brings to mind gunfights in american streets and that's what they don't want people to be referring to and so i want to be completely clear Got it. we are but not in a civil war because I mean, we're not in there's not gunfights over territory with factions fighting the united states government a, fighting each other there's an information war going on and i agree with that cold there civil war cold civil war we're in fine. a civil war period. Yes, those, those been, I agree, uh, that I agree with, but it's not. We, there's not gunfights. We've already had <laughs> uh, people killed. Yes, we've uh, we've had numerous. There's political violence. There, there's there's occupations, the, autonomous yep, zones. Yep. Uh, I, weaponization of government by government one faction. Pick, yeah, one faction arresting their political opponents. Okay. All of this. That's why I said earlier today. All the stuff that's happening here. People that are outside of the United States context, outside of the Western context, when they look at us and they see, oh, one political party is persecuting their opponents. They're arresting people. They're charging as lawyers. Blah blah. blah. They see that and they are like, that is. All banana republic shit. And no matter how much Bill Crystal and the morons at the New York Times want to shove their head in the sand and swear up and down that America's different, the rest of the world sees right through their horseshit. Right through it. Because only unreliable and furthermore again the, the the fact that this makes america look unreliable only hurts the dollar when it's never been weaker when we've never had more debt when we've never had a a a well it's been a long time since we've had this the type of uh income inequality that we do have in in the u.s there are a lot of problems that all of this stuff only makes worse you know, so I, I, I don't see Stephen Marsh says that we're in civil strife, which is the period that occurs right before a civil war happens. Civil strife, civil strife, okay. civil strife is when you have, I think, what do you say, like 70 or more per year political deaths? And the U.S. is well beyond that. Most people just don't track these things. But what people also don't realize, and I have to say this every single time, there was a revolution in Egypt, two of them actually within like a span of a yeah. year of each other. If, if you went to the mall, you wouldn't know anything was going on. And because of this, people watch movies and they think civil war means you look out your window and guys in uniforms are marching down the street. Yeah, it go watch different. Go watch the videos of the Syrian civil war where you see people walking around with groceries and going grocery shopping. Right. Like people don't stop surviving and living and doing basic things like eating food and going to the grocery store simply because somewhere there's fighting going on. When I worked for Vice, we wanted to do this documentary on Syria. This is the, the, like the peak of the civil war because in Damascus, they were advertising tourism in the United States. We were getting ads for Damascus nightlife. And we thought that would be absolutely wild to go to Damascus and document how people were just living their lives while there's like sarin gas attacks happening 50 miles away. Highways being taken over. People were blowing each other up with shells and there's snipers everywhere. But in the city, you wouldn't have known for the most part. So because of because of, I, I think, condensed history and movies, people assume that there can't be any kind of warfare because the average person is going grocery shopping. 